Lights out, I'm your favorite Too many ways, been in your place, that's the latest Add it up, plus signs, zeros on the table Driving and vibing, bring the be later Hey everybody! So this is currently my second fall and winter time like officially like out of Florida. I've realized how little warm clothes I actually have and nothing I have is really seasonally appropriate. Even outside of like short sleeves and you know shorter skirts and stuff I have like florals and it was just time to do some shopping. So <laughs> I have a haul. I've been dying to go thrift shopping but I just haven't gotten the chance. This shirt is actually thrifted. And I'd always try online, like Poshmark and Depop, you know, to look at used clothes online. And they were always just so overpriced and I just couldn't get behind it. <laughs> but there's one site that I recently finally looked into that I actually really like and can really get behind and it is ThreadUp. So despite what I just said, sounding like it came straight out of an ad, this video is not sponsored. <laughs> um, but if I find my footage, in a thread up ad, I'm going to cry. <laughs> but I actually found a lot of great stuff I like a lot and I got a big old order from them. Not all of it is technically fall and winter, but but again, when you're buying used clothes, you don't know when this something like this is gonna come along again. So there are a couple things I just had to snag. I'll start off by showing you some skirts. I'd say all these skirts would work for fall and winter time. I do really need to pick up some fleece leggings because I wanted to get mostly maxi and midi skirts, but it just didn't work out that way. And you'll see by some of the amazing mini skirts I found. First things first is this. Now this is from a brand called Tracy Reese. It's a really pretty fit and flare brown skirt. It's a really dark chocolatey brown, which I really like. I don't do a lot of black, so this nice really dark shade of brown is absolutely perfect for a lot of other things I have in my closet. It has a lot of structure to it, so it really keeps its shape very well. And it is on the longer side for skirts like this which I really like a lot. It'll help keep me warmer and it's just more modest which is a win-win for sure. Next I'm gonna show y'all this white skirt. It reminds me of these puffball skirts you've been kind of seeing in the last couple years and I've been dying to get one but I just did not want to drop the money on it so this actually works out really well. It's probably much better quality than what I would have bought. <laughs> not only is this a great winter skirt kind of for Christmas time I'll just have to wear it with some um thick tights for sure, but it'd be great for spring too, spring and summer. Y'all, I just made a discovery. This has pockets. Oh my gosh, I am sold. One thing I was missing last year was like a white mini skirt, so this is perfect. Next is this J. Crew skirt. It's 100% cotton, which I, which I love. I really try to buy natural fibers, and that's why oftentimes it's so hard for me to drop money on new brands because you're spending $40 plus, and it's polyester, a polyester blend, or a high percentage of polyester, and it's just like, I'm not dropping this kind of money when I can drop $10 on 100% cotton. Like, it's not gonna happen. Sorry, that was a whole tangent, but anyways, 100% cotton, which is nice. This is actually a lower rise, which I usually stick to my high rise. I know low rise is in and everything, but, I think with a lot of the thicker sweaters I'm gonna be wearing um, for winter time, I won't really be tucking it in. So if I'm letting my sweater kind of hang, then a lower rise skirt wouldn't be such a big deal. I, I'm, I'm still kind of into it. I mean, it's really nice. It's just a nice basic pink skirt. Next, this is definitely, it would work for multiple seasons. It is this kind of mesh. We've seen a lot of these over the years, but this one's kind of like a deep mauvish color. It's got this nice kind of satiny sheen band with it, and, but it does have a zipper, so it's not just elastic. And the mesh is longer than the slip underneath, which I feel like kind of gives it like a whimsical, like kind of fairy effect. Kind of just like the dress is falling off you. When I tried this on, I felt like a complete princess in it, and I cannot wait to wear this. Definitely a great option for sure. And last but not least for skirt, um, it's from this brand called The Drop, and I probably want to look at more of their stuff. It's this nice, like, rich, kind of light milk chocolatey brown color that I adore. I always use the word chocolatey brown, but I love a chocolatey brown for fall. It feels amazing. The elastic is very, very thick. I do want, still want to be careful washing this as not to damage it, but this doesn't seem like it's going anytime soon, which is nice. And then um, the satin is so thick. When you're going for a finish like this, just kind of like the silky, satiny finish, a lot of times you will be with polyester. But this seems like it will last, so I'm really happy with this as well. Next, I guess we'll show some tops. 
I'll get this one out of the way. This is definitely um, the only like purely spring and summer top that I got. All summer, all over my Pinterest, I've been saving this kind of blue and white color combination. Kind of reminds me of a trip to Greece, but this top in particular is definitely a little more Caribbean. I usually don't go for this kind of smocked style shirt, but it's the pattern with this one that really got me. I think it looked really, really cute with some white denim shorts or that white skirt that I mentioned earlier. Um, we'll kind of transition out of kind of the spring and summer. This can be a spring shirt for those chillier days, but I mainly bought this for this coming fall and winter time season. It's like, kind of like a nice sleeveless um, sweater top with a nice mock neck. The fabric is really, really nice. I love this texture that it has. It has little ties on the side as well. And it's the perfect length because most of my bottoms are high rise to um, cut off at the right point where it doesn't show any skin, but it um, shows off a lot of the high rise bottom, if that makes sense. Next, we have a few sweaters. Now this is from a brand called 525. It is amazing quality, probably one of the best sweaters I've ever owned. It has a bit of a looser oversized fit. It's just a great basic turtleneck and the way it fits is absolutely perfect and where it cuts off on your midriff, great sweater. Next, I think this sweater was actually from H&M. See the original tags on it. This was only $20 to begin with. It's this light camel colored sweater with pearls on it. Some people may consider this a little chuggy, but I've been wanting this for years and years. And I'm really happy to have something with this beading on it. It doesn't lay as nice or feel as nice as some of the other things I bought, but I am really happy with it. It's definitely a staple. It is a little thinner, so I probably um, would want to wear a thermal or something underneath this for those really cold days, but I absolutely adore it. This is from Abercrombie. I love Abercrombie. It is this nice little pullover sweater. It's this gorgeous kind of like light evergreenish emerald green color, great for Christmas time, honestly, but it's nice and subtle. With these kind of balloonish sleeves that cinch in at the wrist, this is definitely one of my favorite things that I've gotten in this haul so far. And now last but not least, we're onto the dresses. I'll go ahead and show y'all the kind of the springy and summery ones I picked up just to get them out of the way, but I do want to show y'all. This is Princess Polly. I think I probably got this for like 12 bucks, I think. It's this nice little yellow floral dress for springtime. It is backless, um, but I wear a lot of sweaters anyway, so. Look at this fabric, like, <laughs> If I bought this from the website, it would have been like $50, $60. This is not worth $50, $60. This is worth the 12 that I paid for it. And I am thrilled that I have it. Next, this is really cute for spring or summer. You can see the little cherry blossoms and fans on it. Oh, the tag says Urban Outfitter. It fits absolutely perfect on. I can totally see myself in springtime wearing this with my white lace socks and some white sneakers. I'd probably put little space buns in my hair too and make it like a whole look. Next is this brown bodycon dress from Sunday Best. This must be my shade of brown for the season because it's, it's just all speaking to me. But I'm really happy because I was worried that the fabric was going to turn out a little thin. But it's actually really thick and I think it's genuinely going to keep me warm. And it fits so well well it's not unflattering and it's not too showy at all and i absolutely adore it definitely something i'm gonna have to wear with tights but i could probably wear some longer boots some tights next i'm really excited about this one is this little number the polka dots on this are actually navy blue which i do love it gives like a little nautical vibe but this is definitely a fall dress or i would consider it one it's got these nice little puff sleeves and it poofs out in the perfect little way. I like how the back is a little longer for that little security. The only thing is, like I said, this speaks to me as a fall dress, but it's com pretty much completely backless. But I guess I'd wear it with a sweater anyway, but for winter, I am kind of worried about it being backless. This is definitely one of my favorite dresses of the haul though. And I kind of saved the thing I'm most excited for for last. It's from Moth by Anthropology. And it is such a thick, warm, heavy fabric. Oh, the tag's still on it. This was $100 originally. I think I got it for like 25, but it is so long in this beautiful cream color and kind of has this relaxed fit on the top. I almost forgot something. I bought a pair of boots. I was missing some really cute kind of fashion forward, sleek brown boots for fall. And these are them for sure. They kind of got this reptile skin kind of effect on the heel. 
and it's really slick it goes pretty decently up your calf and they're just really cute shoes and they're such good quality too but yeah i picked these up too and this will definitely help put a lot of these outfits together that was the haul. Thank you so much for watching till the end if you have. I can't believe Halloween's already over, but these outfits are making me really excited for the upcoming just holiday season coming by. And it's definitely inspiring me to make some videos too. If you liked the video, then you can give it a like and indicate that to me. Um, and if you like me, then you can subscribe for more of me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you for watching and bye. See you next time.